Hello everyone, this is CZTL and welcome to another Escape from Tarkov beginner series guide. This video is focused on new players, but it could be helpful for anyone just starting out with the wipe. I know it may be a bit late in the 1212 wipe, but I've been getting requests for this type of guide from many people who just bought the game. If you are brand new to the game and haven't watched some of my previous videos in my beginner series, they provide a lot of helpful background information that I may breeze over. With that out of the way, let's dive right in. The very first thing that you should do with a brand new account is accept the tasks that are available to you. This will make it so that when you find these items in raid, that there's a yellow check mark that will appear in the bottom corner of the item. You will need to successfully extract with most quest items in order to turn them in. So putting them in your secure container doesn't help that much. Also, you need to get a certain amount of experience or be in raid for a certain amount of time. Otherwise, it's considered a run through and those items do not count as found in raid. Killing and searching a scav or being in raid for 10 minutes is a good rule of thumb to avoid run throughs. Also, you can usually consume most of an item if you're handing it in if it's a partially consumable item. So feel free to use some of the salevas that you find. If you're unfamiliar with what they are, they're healing items that you need to turn in for the first therapist quest. Notice the items that I have in my inventory don't have a white check mark, meaning they're not found in raid. Also, they don't have the yellow check mark, which means I can't hand them in for quests, even though I survived and extracted the raid. The second thing that you should do is inspect all the items from all the traders. You can do this by hitting the middle mouse button by default, or by right clicking the item and saying examine. This will make it so that you don't need to spend time doing this in raid, because you need to do that in order to pick things up. That small amount of time can be critical when exposed, prone, lying in the middle of an open street, trying to loot the body of someone that you killed. You can also click on the guns to inspect their component parts to gain a bit more experience and further reduce the amount of things you need to search in raid. More important than not having to examine your stuff in raid, you can level up your character to level two by doing this. This allows you to go to mechanic and accept new quests. As of patch 1212 on December 27th, 2021, the introduction quest doesn't show up right away like it should. You need to exit the game, start it back up, go back into mechanic, and it should show up. You accept it like this. The next thing you should do is go into your hideout. You want to look at the various hideout modules and examine any items required to upgrade them. Take note of these as you'll probably want to put them in your secure container when you find them. Pay particular attention to the medical station and the generator upgrade requirements, as if you can't find Salewas in Raid, you can always craft it if you have those two upgraded. This is a lot of information to keep track of, so I'll provide you a link to a tool that I use to keep track of this. It's called TarkovTracker.io. Now let's move on to your loadout. Based off your familiarity with the game, you need to determine what you're willing to sacrifice. And when I say sacrifice, you don't always sacrifice it. But I like to assume that I will not come back with what I start with. In my opinion, a gun, armor, Comtex, which are your earphones, and meds are a necessity for every raid. If you're new to the game, I recommend using a pistol instead of the AK until you get the hang of things. You will probably want to put meds in your secure container initially, as there are things that you cannot buy from traders yet. For example, the two-use bandages and car med kit even though you can barter for it, are not available for purchase with rubles. With your meds, you want to make sure that you can stop both types of bleeds and be able to at least walk or run if your leg is broken or has zero HP. I'll do a more in-depth guide on meds soon, but this is what I'm bringing into this raid. You want to make sure that you bring extra magazines for your gun and sometimes even spare bullets so that you can pack mags in raid. I usually put spare ammunition in my secure container but since these bolts are very cheap to buy, I'm going to leave them in my rig. One final thing to note, I don't have a melee item on purpose, and that's because when you die, your melee item cannot be looted and comes back with you. So if you loot an item off a of scav, that's free money for you. The last thing I'm gonna do here is to hotkey my meds by hovering over the item and hitting the corresponding number. One thing I didn't mention was food and drink, and you should definitely bring that if you're not going to speed run through the map. Now that we're done with our loadout, let's get ready for a raid. So now you select which map you're going to go to at which time. What I like to do for my first raid is go to woods and get the introduction quest out of the way so that I can get to Jaeger's second quest, which gives you the compass as soon as possible. I highly recommend this for new players as well as the compass will help you navigate the maps much easier. 
I'm gonna select woods here. I know the map pretty well, so I typically run these at night, but for beginners, I recommend day. After saying we don't want an offline raid, we'll arrive at the insurance screen. If you're not familiar with insurance, any gear that isn't taken out by another player during raid will be returned to you the next day. Ammo is not returned to you, and also any gear lost on the map of labs is not returned. If you plan on spending a lot of time the first couple days, I personally recommend not insuring things as you'll probably be using better gear by the time you get it back. If you're not coming in at the beginning of a wipe, it makes sense to insure your gear as people likely won't take the low level things. There are two options for insurance, proper and therapist. Therapist costs a bit more, roughly one and a half times, but you get your things back quicker and she'll hold them for longer. Five to six days versus around three. If you have friends to invite to the raid and you haven't sent them a friend request yet, you could do so like this. On their side, they'll accept like this. They should show up here. Alternatively, you can have them just start searching for a group if you don't want to go through the effort. Click on them, invite them to the party. When they accept, you should see your character and their character next to each other. Good luck, and if you found this content helpful, smash the like out of that ship button and consider subscribing for more talk off content in the future. I have a lot of things planned for both new and experienced players. If you would like some guides on other things I haven't covered in this beginner playlist, please put them in the comments below, and hopefully, I won't see you in Tarkov.